hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome in this video i'm going to be making um this nice um waist cinched or pleated waist dress shirt so if you're interested keep please keep on watching and don't forget to like this video don't forget to share don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe okay so here i have both the back and the front piece together this here is the back um for the back side it's folded into two and the one underneath is the front side also folded into two you can see that the um the one for the front side is longer and that is because i'm gonna add more inches for the button allowance i'm gonna add to the dress shirts so from the back one i'm gonna measure three inches down so i have three inches extra um, at the front um, piece for adding my button and buttonhole so I'll just cut off the excess after marking my three inches line so you can see now it's now um, cut into two so this way I'm going to be taking my measurements and I have already drafted my starting line um, at the top here Please take note of where I'm taking my measurements. So I'm going to take 3 inches. And after that, I'm going to take my shoulder measurement divided by 2, which is 7.5 inches. And after marking the 7.5 inches, I'm going to add six point, um, 7 extra inches for, you know, the bogus effect on the sleeve. So it's actually 6.5, but added extra 0.5 inch for joining it to the actual sleeve. So from the top here, I'm going to come down by 1 inch. Which is going to be the neck depth for the back piece and then i'm just going to go ahead and connect it to the three inches for the neck width so from this line here i'm going to come down by 12 inches that is my shoulder to my bust point So from the satin line again, I'm going to come down by 19 inches and this is my shoulder to my waistline. So this is my waistline here. I'll also mark a straight line there. Then from that waistline, I'm going to come down by 9 inches for my hip line. And then from the top, I'm going to mark... Um, um, 41 inches which is my dress length plus extra one inch which is 42 inches so i have 42 inches for the length so on my sh on my on that last seven inch line that i marked i came down by one inch and then i'm going to connect it to the three inches that i marked first creating my shoulder slope So on my hip line here, my hip, my round hip measurement is 42 inches divided by 4 is 10 inches, is 10.5 inches. Then I'm going to go ahead and add extra 5 inches to it, making it 15.5 inches. So I have 15.5 inches here. I'm going to go ahead to mark that all the way down. So I have 15.5 inches here. I'll come to my waistline. And I will mark that in 15.5 inches. Mark it on my bust point and on the length of this dress. On length of the dress, and then I will just mark a straight line to connect connect all the lines. Then I'm just gonna mark my armhole line here. I know this armhole looks awkward, but don't worry, we're gonna it's gonna work. So at the top here, I'm gonna add half inch to my shoulder slope, and that is for joining both the front and the back piece together. So I'll just draw a straight line. So this is half inch for joining my shoulder lines. So at the bottom here, at this side, I came up by three inches. Then I'm going to con draw like a curve from here to the three inches line, just so I can have like, you know, the curve I have at the hem of my dress. It's really pretty. I like it, you should do it as well so and then after drawing this line i felt like it was too straight so i just added a little curve to it 
to curve it out properly. And after doing that, I just went ahead with my scissors and I cut it out. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is just to cut out the excess fabric that we have. So I'm just cutting it out now. Note that you can make this um, dress however you want to make it you can shorten the length in fact it's cuter when the length is very short and you can as well you know cinch in the waist at this point so from the top um for the front piece i came down by three inches because that is the length of my neckline so i came down by three inches so now i'm going to just cut off this one inch here and this because this is for the back piece and I'm just gonna draw mark draw a curve for the back for my front neckline rather. So I'm just gonna curve it like so. When I get to the button, um, um, the excess for the button, I'll just draw a straight line. So that's what I did now. So I'll, I'll just cut it out with my scissors. So I'll just take off the pins and show you what the dress looks like before we go ahead. So this is the back piece. This is the back piece. This is what it looks, it, it looks like. And this is the front piece cut into two. You can see it like this as well. So for the button um, allowance, I have folded it. So I first folded it into one inch and then folded it again into another one inch. And then I sew um, all from the top to the bottom. I, fold, I made two stitches on there. I did the same thing for the both sides. So I want to create a notch for my armhole because you can see it's not obvious where my armhole ends. So from the top, I marked down 11 inches. Yes, I know we marked down 12 inches, but remember we added half inch at the top for, you know, joining the front and back piece. So it's more like 11.5 inches and not really 11 inches. So when I did, when I mark out the 11.5 inch, I was just gonna, I'm just, I'll just create a notch here. So I'll do that on all of the sides where there are armholes. Yes. I'll do that on this side as well. Then this is where the main thing is and for this side you have to pay very much attention or if you don't understand anything you can as well just go back and play it so this is the front piece i have the button holes together i pinned it down together so from the top here i came down by 19 inches or rather 19.5 inches because remember the half inch we added at the top so i came down by 19.5 inches here which is my waist line you can see i drew a straight line there and then from that 19.5 inch i went up by three inches making it um um 16 inches 16.5 inches which is for which is my shoulder to my under bust and then from that same my waistline i came down at the bottom by two inches so in total we have five inches length here and that's where i'm going to be inside um cinching in the waistline so on this line here i'm going to measure what i have and i got 31 inches so from that 31 inches i'm going to take out two inches from it making it 29 inches my actual round waist is 32 inches divided by 2 is 16 inches now i'm going to subtract 16 inches from that 29 inches which is going to be 13 inches now i will go ahead and divide that 13 inches again by 2 and then what i have i'm going to take it on both sides of this um of this dress so 13 inches divided by 2 again is going to be 6.5 inches So I hope this is clear. Um, I know this is really confusing. There are a lot of mathematics here, but you can as well go back and listen to it over again to really understand what I am saying. Okay, this is going to take some time for you to actually get, I understand. 
So from this bot or from this button um hole, from the button I am going to go in and I'm going to um mark 2.5 inches now at this point you can go in by how many inches you want you can go in by four inches if you want your place to be by the side because if you see if you watch the beginning of this video you see that my plates are like underneath my just at the front of my dress but if you want just by the side you can go in by like four inches or by five inches so this is where the pleats are going to start and that's what i just marked here 2.5 inches so because two pleats are going to be on each side on each side i will further go ahead and divide that that 6.5 by 2 so this is how i was able to divide 6.5 by 2 so i got 3.2 inches so from that 2.5 inch line, I will mark 3.2 inches. Now, from this line here, I will go ahead and mark 1 inch. This is just the difference between the, the difference that is going to be between the two pleats. But before I do that, I will further again divide that 3.2 inches by 2 and i got 1.1.6 1 i think so i just marked it at the middle and this is just so i can be able to pick it up like this and sew on the white line when i want to sew so for the mid for the 1.6 inch i marked this with a different color chalk i marked it with a blue chalk so i know that that is where i'm going to be picking it from so from here i went ahead and marked one inch this is just going is just the difference between the two plates so here you can make yours two inches or one inch okay but i made mine one inch and then i'm going to do a straight line and i'm going to go ahead and divide that 6.5 inches again which is 3.2 inches so i'm just going to go ahead and mark 3.2 inches here here and here again and then draw a straight line and then i'll go ahead and divide that 3.2 inches line again just to find the midpoint and then i'm going to place it and mark 1.6 inch as you can see here with a different color chalk so when i see the blue chalks i know that that is where i'm going to be picking it from and sewing i'm sorry you can't see the blue chalk it's just because this fabric is also blue color so you cannot see the blue chalk so i'm going to pick it up like this pin it and then i'll go ahead and sew it on this white line like this and then after that i'll pick up the second blue chalk line pin it again and then place it on my sewing machine like so and so on this white chalk and that is it after that i'll go ahead and do this exact same thing on the other side of this front piece so i'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side of this front piece now for the back um this is i extended the lines to the other side and you can see what we have here is five inches this is just the line that we marked for the front that's the same line i marked for the on the back piece here so you can see this line this obvious uh, mid line i made it obvious by pressing it folding it into two and pressing it to the pressing iron so from that midpoint i came in by one inch i did the same thing i did for the front but just that i came in by one inch from the midpoint So on that one inch line, I will go ahead and um, divide 6.5 by 2 using my tape. Here I did 7.5 by 2. It was actually a mistake. I corrected myself later on. But just, I did, I'm I did, or rather maybe supposed to do, 6.5 divided by 2. And then I marked it here. So that's going to be 3.2 inches so i'm just going to fold it like this and stitch on the white side just like i did for the front so here i'm just ex um extending the line so i can draw a straight line so i'll just draw a straight line i'll just draw straight lines on the both dots so i'll pinch it this way and sew on the white line but i'm also going to um you know find the midpoints between these two lines by going for that to divide 3.2 inches by 2 again or you can just say dividing 6.5 inches by 4 and then it's 1.6 inches so i just use my blue chalk and max 1.6 inches all the way down and draw a straight line again 
so i'm gonna pinch it like this and so on the white line so the next thing i did from the last line there i went in by two inches like i said you must not um this second this line i just drew now is you can make yours three inches just however you want to do it if you want yours to be by the sides and not because mine is like at the middle of my back at my at my mid back so i went ahead and divided 6.5 again and then i'm going to find the midpoint of these two lines and i'm going to draw 1.6 inches i'm going to mark 1.6 inches using my blue line again like i said if this is very confusing which is very understandable if it's confused if it confuses you you can go back and rewatch it and watch it over and over again to understand the whole mathematics in this so this first line on the blue line i'll pinch it like this pin it go ahead and sew on the white line this way and then i'll go ahead and pinch the second line as well and go ahead and sew it so after do sewing the two lines i will also mark the exact thing i marked on this side i'll mark it on this other side because i just marked for one part of the back side so i'll go ahead and mark the same thing on the other part of the back side and stitch so in total i'm gonna have four plates at the back so this is the front piece of pleated the both sides you can see this well, this is what it looks like at the front and then this is for the back side i have also gone ahead and pleated it at the back now the next thing you want to do is to make sure that your waist you still have your waistline and allowance to um and sewing allowance as well so i checked and i have extra i still have my two inches sewing allowance so i'm good to go so you want to check this after all the calculations and taking in your plates so the next thing i'm going to do is to join the shoulders of the front and the back piece together so for the sleeve of this dress I folded a fabric into two as you can see you can see the folded edge so I'm gonna take uh, my sleeve and I'm gonna place it on the fabric that I folded like this and then I'll just trace that um, sleeve I'll trace it all the way to the notched part remember the place we notched which is where our armhole is going to end so I'll just trace it to the notched point After tracing it, I'm just adjusting the lines um, and then I'm going to go ahead and mark the length of this, um, the length of my sleeve. So the total length for the full length of my um, sleeve is 24 inches. But remember we added 7 inch at the beginning. You remember 7 inch so it's actually 6.5 inch so 0.5 inch is going to be for joining to the uh, main sleeve so 24 inches minus 6.5 inches is 17.5 inches minus 2.5 inches is going to be for the band of this sleeve which i'm going to cut later so you will see this later so minus 2.5 inches is 15 inches then i added one inch to it for allowance so that's why this length here i have 16 inches so the length here is 16 inches and this is where my sleeve ends i'm just making it obvious so for the bottom part i'm going to measure my palm like this because i'm not going to be having any button there so i'm not gonna so it's nine inches and then with nine inches my my sleeve will be able to enter and enter easily so I'm going to mark that nine, that 9 inches, but I'm going to add extra 1 inch because I want to pleat my sleeve. Then I'm going to add 2 extra inches for 
sewing allowance making it 12 inches now because this fabric is folded into two i'm going to divide that 12 inches by six by two sorry which is seven, which is going to be six inches so i'll just i've marked the six inches and then i'll just draw a straight line this way now you must not do this sleeve style you can you know make any sleeve style of your choice okay okay so i'll just pin it this way and then i'll go ahead and cut and then when i unpin it this is what this sleeve is going to look like i know it's awkward it's not like the normal sleeve um pattern yeah but it works so so I'm going to fold it into two and I'm going to notch the midpoints. So for the top here, I'm going to notch the midpoint and the bottom as well, I'm also going to notch the midpoint. Now it's time to create the band. The length of this band is 11 inches. Remember the 9 inches, then I just added 2 extra inches to it. And then the width is, of course, like I said, 2.5 inches and I added extra half inch, making it 3 inches when I fold it like this. So this band, I'm going to fold it to get the midpoint. And then I'm going to notch the midpoint. And I'm going to flip the sleeve to the right side. So, and then I'm going to make the right side of this sleeve to touch the right side of the band. So, you can see I have excess and that is what I'm going to be pleating. So, I'll just take it to the extreme like this. I'll pin it and take it to the extreme of the other side and pin it as well. So, the excess fabric I'm going to have, I'm going to um, kiss pleat it. So, this is the excess fabric. I'm just going to take it like this. I'll just I'll just pinch it up like this and pleat it. So this is it pleated. I have pleated it. So when I open it, you see the kiss pleat here. It's just a little bit design I wanted to give it to my sleeve. So I'll go ahead and sew it here by half inch. And after I'm done sewing it, I'm going to flip it over, fold it into two like this, fold in half an inch with an iron. Iron is by half an inch. Place it here and then stitch it again by half an inch. So I'm done doing that. And this is what the sleeve and the cuff is looking like yeah so if you want to add buttons to yours i have a video on how to make that kind of sleeve so i'll just leave it in the description box so you can you know check it out and the next thing to do is to attach it to my main fabric so you can see where my two shoulders are meeting so i'm going to place the mid point that is the place where i notched on the sleeve i'll place it this way and then i'll go ahead and pin it And then I will, you know, place it properly to the places where I notched on at the armhole, where the armhole is going to end. And then I'll just go ahead and sew it by half inch all the way down. I'm done doing that. This is what the sleeve is looking like. Um, the next thing I'm going to do will be to join it by the allowance that i left so these are these are the sleeves so the next thing i'm going to do is to turn it over to the wrong side place it carefully and properly and then i'm going to join each side by one inch so this side i'm going to join it from the sleeve all the way to the bottom of this dress by one inch and then i will do the same on the other side because i left two inches for sewing allowance so i'm gonna take one inch each on both sides and after that i'll go ahead and hem it i also went ahead to attach um my collar so i have a well detailed tutorial on how to attach a collar i'm gonna also leave it in the description box so this is what the dress is looking 
like you can dress this um you can dress this dress up or you can dress it down that's the beauty of this dress so make sure to like share subscribe bye